FEMA agents are now making house visits in the city of Gran Geno. CBS 4's Imelda Mejia explains how the town hopes to benefit from federal funding after suffering severe storm damage. Slowly but surely, the small town of Garanjeno is rebuilding and fixing up the town. But there are many repairs that still remain. Half of the roof, half of the home, it's what's damaged. The Gutierrez family was sleeping inside their home when a storm swept through the area and caused a tree to fall on their house. The family doesn't have insurance and is now turning to the Federal Emergency Management Agency, or FEMA, for help. The help for the FEMA is just to pay the damage is more than anything because insurance will usually they help you with those pay with the repairs but if you don't have insurance plus they don't help you so it, we have to pay out of our pocket several houses in Granjeno have tarps which show that many of the homes still require roofs to be repaired the community center in Granjeno is another reminder of the help that the town needs in reconstructing after the storm what we need to do is actually get get our contra uh, get our contractors to come in that way they can start giving us bids once they give this bids, then we provide it to our insurance, and then our insurance will take it from there. An insurance adjuster already inspected the center, which was home to various city functions and community programs. The center will not be demolished, but rebuilt. The city does not have funding for the project, so work is on hold until funds come in in either of two ways. And then at that point, we'll say, okay, well, the insurance only covered this amount. So from FEMA, we need this amount if they can go ahead and help and assist us in that way. Both the city buildings and the personal ones wait in limbo until the question of funding is resolved. In Granjeno, Imelda Mejia, CBS 4 News and ValleyCentral.com. The community center walls fell down on Granjeno's park project, which launched in mid-May. So that project is now on hold until the debris can be cleared.